Island Life Heaven Those in love with the sounds of the surf know it best. A typical Sunday afternoon finds most St. Lucian families heading to the beach. It is such an enshrined cultural habit that many take it for granted. But the beach is one of the few recreational spaces these islands have. It is natural and it is free. Quite literally, the poor man's adventure theme park. With the financial stresses of tropical life, beaches provide a therapeutic and reinvigorating escape for rich and poor, young and old alike. I personally use the beach um, as a way of meditation. I come, I sit on the beach, I listen to the wave, it calms you down. I find it to be therapy of the mind for me personally. The beaches and coastal area around St. Lucia um, is considered extremely valuable, particularly from an ecological uh, perspective, because a number of beaches around the island are considered or provides an area of nesting uh, for sea turtles. It's also an area of habitat for crabs. It also provides an area of recreation for locals and visitors alike. And certainly it acts as a buffer or a median between the marine environment and the terrestrial environment. A beach in itself is important. It is important that we maintain the beach, we maintain the vegetation, avoid development along the coast because as I indicated this has a direct impact to our coral reefs and our seagrass beds, mangroves as well. Not only do St. Lucians delight in the use of the beaches, but many visitors flock to the island to experience these natural spas. In fact, St. Lucia's economy now depends heavily on the hospitality industry and sun-drenched beaches are the preeminent selling point for the island, as with many other islands. So as an island nation, beaches are vital to St. Lucians. We enjoy them for recreation. We see them as areas that are all around. They are also good just for aesthetics. They look good, tourists come here to enjoy them. Um, but St. Lucians on average spend time at, just at the beach, not necessarily in the water, but sometimes you'll find vehicles parked along a, a busy beach, especially in the urban centers, Castries, Groselay, where you just see people sitting in their vehicles having lunch, for example. So beaches to us have, have values far beyond just being a place where we recreate, but it's also a place of solace, a place of quiet time to think, to reflect. Taxi drivers, beach chair rentals, and this underwater business all depend on the natural attraction between visitors and the sea. You find that um, having the beach available for the clients, especially when they're before diving or after diving, they can um, lay down on it and get some sunshine and stuff. So that is vitally important for me as a dive operator. And also if those who have their family who are not diving, they can rest out and chill on the beach and snorkel as well. But the beaches and the sea are not only for relaxation, rejuvenation and entertainment. They also provide the livelihood for these local fishermen. Some of the benefits, for example, to sand owners you could cast your net because of the sandy beach you'll be able to pull it on shore to hold the fish in it. If there's a lot of rock then you would be able to do that. So the beach is very important.
when the sea is rough, a lot of stones coming up to the beach because we can't push our boat on the rocks, you know, because we love the sun. Because each time we push the um, um, boat on the beach and it have the rock, what? Just have a look. Mm -hmm. We have to fix up the boat. Bitra Airport and Shai Booth and Fishermen. It's more levé, actually. Sometimes in the Bengali. Et c'est ça qu'on a fait pour les villes. Et moi, nous sommes à Belle Beach là, et nous sommes pour, pas nous pour être cochonnés à l'œil, nous sommes pour nettoyer, pas faire cochonnés à l'œil. C'est là qu'on a fait un chai, on a fait un cochonné à l'œil. Et que j'allais pour ça de vous. This would be a fishing priority, and that would be greatly used for the livelihoods of the fisher folk coming into that area catching all types of fish, more specifically jackfish, depending on the main area in terms of the depth of the waters in that particular area. So the main benefit of that beach area would be for a fisherman. The coastline is where the sea meets the land. Do you see that everybody? Lessons in classrooms around the world prioritize the protection, preservation, and enhancement of coastlines. The duty falls on the young and old to ensure sands and seas are left for future generations to enjoy. How many persons love going to the beach? Mm. The wind! Haven't you ever been on the shore and, the, and sometimes the sand comes into your eyes sometimes? Yes. Is somebody blowing the sand in your eye? No. What is causing that sand to blow all of your face and your hair? The wind. the wind, natural force in the wind. In our social studies lesson, we teach our children how to appreciate our beaches. We teach them that the beach is a natural resource. It is something that is given to us. So as a result, the students, they have to take care of our beaches. Now you must be saying, and they always ask, ask why them? but the beach is for all of us to use. So we have to teach them, one, that they have to take care of it, they have to keep it litter free, and there's one thing they always speak about is that they see a lot of garbage on our beaches. So we teach them how to take care of it. What can they do? We don't tell them what to do. They also give us ideas as to what they can do to, in order to protect our beaches, in order to preserve the beaches, or else, if not, the next generation will not get that, that beautiful beach to play on, to, to, to relax on, to bathe and so on. One of the major problems stems from getting students to take what they learn from the classroom into real life, where they don't always see the older ones making educated choices when it comes to preserving our coast. This is a grade three class. They're eight, nine year olds. So they, we're actually starting very young with them. We want them to, to understand that, hey, the beaches are here for our enjoyment. So if we start early with them, this is going to be in them. We want to inculcate that knowledge in the students that I can do something to preserve the beach. And in addition to that, they themselves now will grow with that in them. And of course, our future is going to look much brighter if we start with the younger generation. For everything from pleasure fishing and recreation to sustainable development, the benefits of the beach are endless. The future of the beaches in this part of the world, however, remain in the hands of the people. <laughs>